Welcome back to a new video here in Suave. In today's video, we're gonna talk about titles or more specifically branded titles and why you need to have your own set of branded titles. So if you're building a brand, you kind of want a certain amount of like titles or lower thirds that are sort of like the half. What is it called? Um, are you asking me? I'm asking them. Oh, okay. Symmetry. I think it's symmetry, the word, so that it, they sort of like align with each other in the theme of that. For example, if you look at big YouTubers or content creators or actual brands, you will notice that on every video or every piece of content that they have, you'll see those similarities in every video. And that is sort of how you step, establish a brand so that people can get sort of like recognize it. And I'm guilty of it. I haven't been the most consistent in, on this channel for that either. But yeah, so in this video, we're gonna dive into creating a title or an animated title for, and I thought about making it a watch dealer. Why a watch dealer? Well, I'm helping a friend who is in that industry sort of the idea behind it is that it st stays as part of the actual identity of the brand that you're building right so let's jump into the computer and and don't forget to stay until the end of the video because at the end of the video i have a few surprises or questions in which i want you to be involved so let's jump right into the video well the first thing i did was i actually went ahead and did a little bit of research on like the actual industry and what like top brands for actual like watches we're doing and stuff like that and i found out that most of them are really minimal but i got a few ideas of what we're gonna try so we're just gonna go ahead and start with a new fusion composition now inside fusion i got an idea that what we would do is um we would just create first of all we're gonna add a background and we're gonna make it transparent then what we're gonna do is i wanted to add well i don't have the actual logo or anything so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna create a fictitious logo which is gonna be sort of like circles so we're gonna create background nodes and we're gonna use that to be our logos and it's gonna be like that a circle with an ellipse and we can just hold this here and if you hold shift you can make it smaller like that and we're gonna take the solid out and only use the border so what we're gonna do is it's gonna be these circles showing up sort of like fading in and it's gonna be the whole animation i think it should be two seconds total so what we're gonna do for the first second is that we want the circles to appear and then sort of like the actual watch uh i don't know what you would call it the little ticker i can't i can't remember the name right so first of all we're gonna create our circle at intro animation so it's gonna be just like let's say half a second so it's gonna be 12 frames and for that what we can animate is actually our instead of animating our ellipse what we want to do is we're gonna go here to this merge node and we're gonna animate the blend and what that is going to do is it's gonna anything that comes from the foreground it's gonna show up after we activate these so we're gonna create the key from here at one and then we're gonna go to zero and it's gonna be at zero there that's the zero then we can also go to the spline right away and then just add like an f select everything here by pressing ctrl a and then it's a little bit smoother like that and then we're gonna create a new background node that we're gonna connect and then we're gonna create a polygon which is gonna be our, our little clock the timing line i can't remember the actual name so if you remember let me know in the comments but yeah so then we're gonna increase instead of the solid again we're just gonna use the border width and then like that and what we want to do with, with this one also is i want it to rotate completely and i want it to start on top so we're gonna use the rotation not y where is it z z or whatever there so it's gonna start at 90 degrees here and the actual thing it should be starting from here and then after like at 24 we're gonna do a full round so i guess if we just go like minus 280 would be the complete rotation and we can go to the spline tool and then select everything with ctrl a and then press f and then if we look at it, we got that weird animation already, right? Oh, that's not what we want. 
Oh, it should be minus 270. There. But I think that if we slow this down and make it start at one second, it could look better. So we're going to go back and then take this out. And we're also going to animate our merge node with this in this case. And it's going to start at zero and then it's going to show up completely at 24. Let's see how that looks. And then we got our watch showing up. And then from there, what I thought would be cool would be to sort of like shorten these and then have the text come like sliding up, right? So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to animate both of our merge nodes to sort of like go low a little bit in position. So we're going to create a position keyframe for here and then the same on this one. And then we're going to go 12 frames again. So 24, that would be 36. And then we're going to lower these a little bit. And then we can just copy and paste this for the position on the other one too. So they both are sort of like having the same pivot point. And we also want to shorten our polygon. So for that, we can animate it. They're both moving at the same time there. So what we can do here is we're going to go here and then the length, we can just create a keyframe there. And then at 36, we're just going to decrease the length. Okay, since the length is actually, if we move the length, it's going to go up way, it's going to go upwards. So what we want to do is we're just going to get rid of these and we're going to actually animate the position because that way we can actually shorten it. So it stays like ends there. So we're going to create that and we're going to do it by creating the first keyframe right here on the position. And then at 36, we're just going to make it go and stay sort of like within the actual watch. I think by staying on top there, it's going to look fine. Okay, and then we got our full, that would be our fictitious logo, I guess. We can select our merge nodes and the polygon that we just animated. And we're going to go to the spline tool again. And make sure we select everything and then press F. And then we can look at the whole animation. Like that. We can also add motion blur. So if we want to do that, we can do it right away already. So we're going to go to settings and then add motion blur. I usually don't like to add too much, so 80 would be fine you can add more it's up to you if you want to add more stuff uh, and then the polygon will be the last one we can add the same thing to the circle but we haven't had any animation or moving in these ones so we don't do that. we don't need to do that okay so we got our animation here happening like that and since we have our thing showing up right here the next thing that we need to do is the text node so we're gonna create a text node by pressing here we're gonna connect these and we're going to create the watch. So uh, I'm going to use a fictitious name. So the watcher. <laughs> Forget so if that references anything else, it's not on purpose. But OK. So then what we're going to do is if you have one like style that you want. Oh, this looks sort of like the like a brand of watches, I guess. So it's sort of this fits the style of those luxury brands that I researched earlier, right? So we're going to use this one, I guess, since it's right there already. And we can make it a little bit bigger also. And if it doesn't have any different styles, but yeah, you can choose the font that you like and that you want your, your actual thing to represent. And like that. And that would be the ending position, right? And if you go to layout, you will see that there. So at frame 36, is when these ends here. So you want to have these text pop up and go upwards and end at the same time. So we're going to create the keyframe right here and then we're going to go back to 24 and we're going to bring these from the bottom. But right now it looks weird. It doesn't look fine because there's something missing, right? Which is the mask. But before we add the mask, we can go to the spline tool again and we're going to select everything, pressing Ctrl A and then press F. And then we can also add the motion blur already so that we don't forget. And then we're going to add the mask that we need to have. And if we move the mask, if we go to frame 36. We will see that we can just position it to where it will only show up after it passes this intersection. So before that, we won't be able to see it. And since it's a little bit unrealistic that it's still showing like that, 
because it's sort of like coming from in front of our text still. Uh, what we can do is we can increase our mask to go a little bit higher like that and we can increase the soft edge that it has. So then it sort of like comes showing up like that. And one last thing we can do is also we can add a little bit of that fade in effect also that we have on the merge nodes. So we're going to do that to test it out and see what it looks like. Like that. There. And we can also do not, we don't have to forget about adding the motion blur to these and the spline to everything so that everything is a little bit smooth. And right now our circle or our logo, I guess, it's a little bit different from, uh, like it doesn't have the same color, right? So what we want to do is, I think if they, if all of them are white, it will look fine. Or if the circle is white and the actual like line is yellow, sort of like luxury brand, I guess, it will look cool. So let's see. Okay, so that is, I guess, our thing. And then what we can do to animate them out is, let's select everything first of all. Let's select everything to see where the animation ends. So it's at 36, it's one, the whole thing is already present on our screen. And we wanna leave it there for like a second. So we go down here and if we do, and if we do plus 24, it's gonna add one second since we're working on a 24 frames per second timeline. What we want to do then is we're just gonna start animating out our thing here and we're gonna make them animate. We're gonna animate this out by simply just fading everything out. But a cool thing that we can do to make this easier is we're just gonna bring a mask and we're gonna add here and press one and one. So it covers the whole thing. And the cool thing here with nodes is that we can connect these to all of them. So this same mask will affect our whole composition right here. So here, what we can do is we can create a position here from the center. And we can also add a little bit of softness on the edge. But then if we go like, let's say, Let's say we go a whole second again. So that would be 84. So that'll be one whole second of the thing moving. But if we drag our thing upwards, our whole thing would disappear. And we can also just add the spline and then press F to make everything smooth. And then the motion blur. And then like that will be our whole animation done. So it's simple, simple and sort of like minimalistic because we're sort of like taking and trying to get the feel for the industry. So that's why I looked into it before actually doing anything before just coming with my own ideas. Because if I didn't know much of the industry, I wouldn't know what it sort of like looks acceptable or because you don't want a super like graffiti style and then you want to portray a luxury brand of watches if it doesn't have anything to do with it right so this style it's sort of like a minimal minimalistic title and it adds that certain feel that it has that simplistic and luxury in that fade in since like out of the 10 brands that I saw, I think nine of them had that fade in effect for their titles and they were all super minimal, minimal and like straight to the point. So yeah, that is pretty much how we would go. Um, and yeah, let's go back into the real world. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you also in, enjoy the little mar bit of marketing tip or branding tip that I also provided with the, within this video. And I hope that if you are going to create your own content and you can think of these things when creating your own titles, or if you want me to help you out to create a set of titles and stuff for you or your brand or your business, get in touch with me and maybe I can help you out but also I have a few questions that I want you to decide. For the next tutorial, which is gonna involve titles, I want you to be the one that decides what the tutorial is going to be about. So I have three options that I sort of thought of. So one of them is a Christmas title. The other one is a cyberpunk style or theme, lower third. And then the third one, 
well, I kind of forgot, but we're gonna do it again with the cyberpunk theme because that is gonna become really popular and I wanna take advantage of that. But, and the third one's gonna be a cyberpunk inspired title, so like the main title, not the lower third. So let me know down in the comments which of the three I should choose. So that is pretty much it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you can find it helpful and that you can put it into action and use it for something useful. And I hope to see you in the next video here in Swabi. Bye.